all three of you could could approach this. I mean, just the the result today was probably kind of expected them being a D two school. But how good does it feel to just get out there and be able to do what you want and have a comfortable win? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, we practiced pretty hard this past three days, so uh, getting out there, we didn't really execute the way we wanted to. But I mean, that's again with uh, the team going up and learning. Uh, I mean, we practice really hard and we play really hard in practice. It just didn't translate that well in the game. But I mean, we we got the win, so. Uh, you know, coming off a four-game losing streak, we just want to stick to our game plan, stay focused in practice. And these these past couple practice, we practice pretty hard and just try to stay humble through everything, so we can come out with this win and get ready for SEC play. Keyshawn. Uh, First question: Did you have you are you following Chris's lead with the haircut, and uh, and secondly, Chris, obviously you've you've dunked a lot in your career here. What do you think about the connection these two have had? They've had a numerous alley oops to this point uh, of their career. Um, how do you kind of compare that to, yeah, to, to that, your that's, career that's, doing that? I call them my kids, and that's my twins. <laughs> but uh, that really made me think about uh, PJ and I when I, we first got here, and uh, it was like, I mean. That type of connection, getting the game and just enjoying the game, throwing alley oops, and I mean, uh, they're gonna be real good. You know, what I'm saying? Uh, just learning, and they learn re real fast the game, and I mean, they just they just gotta stick to uh, the coaching. I didn't follow Chris on the haircut. I had the, the, the yes, I was thinking about the first, and then he nah, just went along and did it. I was like, if I cut was, my hair, nah. you gotta cut your hair. <laughs> hey, he's next. I'm not next. They want me to cut my hair, but I'm not gonna do it. Chris, what happened on that play? Were you went down, and I guess how do you feel after? I guess they were looking at your knee. Oh uh, yeah, uh, try to take a charge, and he kind he kind of came at me pretty hard, and he kind of hit me in the knee, and uh, the elbow hit me in the uh, on the throat. So I had problem breathing, and like my knee is fine, it's just a little bit sore. And I'm good. But for any of the three, you guys, when you play an opponent like this that it's as overmatched as, as they are, what do you look to individually accomplish and accomplish as a team in a game of this nature? Uh, it's, not, it's, not about, it's not about the team we play. Every, every team we play, we approach it the same way. It's about us and how we growing up as a team, how we translating our practices to the games, and uh, that, that's about it. Just execution and coming defense and do what we're supposed to be, uh, do. Be disciplined. Yeah, we just got to execute and just learn how to be disciplined every time we play against whoever the opponent is. Yeah, it's just we just try to come out hard every game and play the game the same way. Don't try to like take the game for granted just because they were a Division Two school, but that don't mean anything. We we still gonna play them as they're one of the best teams in the country. AJ, no no matter who the opponent is, how good does it feel to kind of walk off the court with a win? Uh, it feels good. Uh, we came off a four game losing streak. It's just we just had to come out hard and play every game as hard as we can. We came out with the win today, and it feels really good. Hey, Joe, what did you say to Trey Campbell today? Obviously a guy that has been in and out of the starting lineup a little bit and now with injuries is in there and scored 11 points. Just what did you see out of him and his confidence? Did, what can a game like this do for them? Uh, his confidence is growing. He hit some trade balls today, and like, I was just talking to him, and he felt like more confident in the shot, and I was just encouraging him to do more because he can't do that. For AJ and Keyshawn, SEC play is next. What have you guys gathered uh, about competition? Obviously, you've played Michigan, Virginia, Clemson. You've played some, some really good teams. What have you learned about yourself, your, your guys' selves uh, heading into SEC play? And then where have you guys connected the most, do you think? And what have you learned about each other uh, going forward? Mm. Well, well. Like I said, like with a coach like Frank and players like Chris and some of our seniors, they kind of prepared us for SC play, let us know what we need to do and start preparing us to get ready for it. So I think we're ready for it right now. So no jet is coming this way. Yeah, we've been practicing very hard, preparing ourselves for SEC play. So I feel like we'll be ready. And me and, Ke me and Keyshawn, we connected well. We just had that good chemistry. We're both athletic. We know each other play. So we just read off each other and feel for each other on the court. And then we're roommates, so that makes it even more <laughs> worse. <laughs>